you know, the, the thing that excites me, um, they're all very talented. Um, and then there's a multitude of things where uh, now some backs are better probably in the perimeter. Now we have the power backs, we have the complementary backs. So all six of those backs bring a, a little bit different attitude, but they're all competitive. They all run tough, they're mentally tough, and they're professional. So it now comes down to who's paying attention to detail and doing the things right all the time, and who separates themselves from, from uh, being the best back in the room. Yes. Um, how have you felt now that you've been working with Kenny for a year, how this program has kind of evolved and gotten to the point where it is now? You know, I, I think Coach Dillingham has, has done an incredible job coming into what he came into and, and trying to build a roster. Uh, nowadays, it, it seems that every season you got to build a brand new roster, and that's in every sport, right? And so him building that roster, learning and going through the adversity of first-year coaches with him, um, being a, a head coach for the first time, I think he did an incredible job. And so we're learning together with our whole staff. And, and uh, uh, I think that has grown exponentially over, over the years. And, and uh, we understand each other really, really well, all of the coaches. Uh, and with that being said, we, are, we know exactly what we want for our roster. And those are the, what we're recruiting to. And that's what we are going to build our team with. And just based on last year, are there any lessons that you can take away from Absolutely. Oh, to me, it's it's finding the positives uh, through the adversity, and how can we get better doing the little things right? We ask our kids to do the little things right. What can the coaches do to get the little things right? Build that roster and that trust. But what I've learned is that if you keep keep what we call the grit about it, the grinding part. If you keep the grit and grinding and trust the process that Coach Dillingham has in place, I, I think that will come out. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's hard. Uh, so within the off season, you have to do as much as you can from that part so, so the so the players start learning about each other. And that's what the coaches do because you've seen a new uh, kid in your room every one or two years, and, and, and that's hard. Is it hard to build that culture? I think it's hard to build it now than it, it, it was before because you had kids for four years and you built that and developed that. Um, so you're going to have to put aside a time uh, within the off season to build that camaraderie, to build that team leadership. And I thought Coach Dillingham has done a great job. And then they're doing it in the strength program where they're building those teams and trust and stuff like that. It's very, it's very hard now. And you see it all around the, the country. It's very hard. But uh, I think the little things that you try and you, as consistent as you can be, I think Coach has done a great job doing that. She's just getting back to football again. But it, to see a team progress from January to right now, because we see them in the weight room or whatever, um, them progressing and seeing what kind of talent we have on the field, um, I feel very confident that, that uh, we're in a, group, we're a very good place. You know, I, I think I think all positions, but of course, uh, to me, the number one position is quarterback position, uh, and that that holds true at the high school, college, and the NFL level. Whoever has the best productive quarterback usually is there at the end, and so I, I'd like to see. I want to see how that plays out. Um, we're going to do our job from a running back room, getting prepared, but uh, just exciting to see the whole team come about as as uh, as one team.